We can graft walnuts for the same reason that mm, virtually all fruit trees and nut trees are grafted or budded. We have to uh, get a variety. Um, that's the only way, either budding or grafting, to get an orchard with all one variety of, of crop. If you were to get a hundred walnuts and plant them and let them grow up and start producing, you'd have a hundred different kinds of walnuts. Different leafing dates, different qualities, different everything. So with grafting, then they're all identical, they're cloned. Grafting is always done in the spring. Um, and that varies in where you're located in California. If you're in the southern part of the state, in Visalia, Tulare County, you can start grafting the last few days of January. If you're in Lake County, uh, we can't graft until the very earliest, the 1st of May, because of the weather conditions that we have here. Um, budding can be done in the fall, um, in August, early September, as well as budding can be done in the spring when grafting is done. The, what graft you choose depends on the size of the trees, uh, pretty much totally. If they're uh, very small trees that have been planted, and, well, some trees can be planted and grafted the very same spring. Uh, if you have very good growing conditions, very good care, um, that can be very successful. The um, probably more normal method is um, that you plant the walnut seedlings and you grow them a year and then you graft them. Um, if, if they're quite small, you graft, uh, use a whip graft. And if they're larger, two or three inches in diameter, then you use a bark graft. Um, of course, many orchards are started from trees that are grafted in the nursery or budded in the nursery, but we're not talking about that today. I've been grafting since 1948, and I have made many mistakes. And so with this work that we're doing today, we're hoping to help you folks not make all those same mistakes. On the young trees particularly, the, the small trees that we whip graft, you must keep the weeds away from them. Very, 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 very important. Keep the weeds, and I mean when they're one inch tall, not when they're waist high. You must keep them away. And then uh, adequate moisture. Generally, most people believe that you shouldn't water a tree. You shouldn't water a tree uh, after it's grafted until the grafts have uh, started growing quite well, uh, uh, three or four inches perhaps. The thought is that some conditions that can cause bleeding to start. Actually, trees, when you cut them up to graft them, their, their moisture requirements are somewhat gone down because you've, especially the bark grafters, you've uh, removed so much of the tree top, there's not much moisture consumption going on. Uh, so it's, they don't require as much water during that early time as they would if they were still growing as seedlings with a full canopy.